I saw this on Northwood's Law. I think I could grab him from the sides and he can't bite me. So I'll just... Good morning. It's a new day. We are leaving the High Point Shelter right now. It rained quite a bit and hard yesterday. So, oh, I think we're on the... Hey, we're on the AT already. Okay. So today is going to be a weird day. Most of your hikers, of course, will just, you know, push miles. Me, though, I have to get a few videos done. And Unionville is the last place I can go until a hotel where I can have some power. So I'm going to go into Unionville in 7.2 miles. And I'm basically going to loiter around place to place and just charge up my stuff. I have two dead GoPro batteries, one dead Sony battery, one dead battery bank. And I have, after tonight, I have two more nights to go and I still have to work quite a bit. So, um, 7.2 miles. That way I'll get time throughout the afternoon to work and uh, I'll have power as well for so I can work the next couple nights. And then I guess there is a park right near the like Village Town Hall post office area and you can camp there. So I was going to do that. Um, they have water. Uh, the toilet or a porta potty there so everything should be fine so i'm gonna do that and then um it's like i forget how many more miles but i do have a hotel booked in <laughs> i already forgot the name like harrisonburg or something like that but it's in new york and um i'll be going there sunday night sunday night everything else is booked out that i try to get saturday if that was any good new jersey doesn't seem to have too many housing opportunities that are good there are a few hotel motels like around there but they all sound super shady and lots of reports of bed bugs and people living there full time kind of weird stuff so um i want to take a zero next and i want it to be like decent zero someplace near a grocery store so i can buy a bunch of stuff so it's gonna be a while but the funny thing is, this morning I wake up, I check my phone, and the mayor of Unionville emailed me last night. Um, he's been watching my videos, and he figured that I'll be near Unionville. So he said I should drop by. But what's funny is today I'm gonna be there. <laughs> so I wrote him back and told him I'll be there sometime in the morning. So I think we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna meet up with him and his family. And it's always like, can I yogi a shower off of them? I don't know. <sighs> there is a little hostel there. There's a four bed hostel ran by uh, a pastor there at a church. And it's first come first serve though. So I don't know if I'm able to get a bed there. I'd like to. Um, ideally that'd be good so I can get a shower. Maybe laundry, but shower especially. That's a big thing in my mind right now. You know, it's funny, just walking down the trail, I saw a slug on a leaf and I thought it was fascinating. It was a tiny little slug, like one inch long. And then I was thinking, that fascinates me, but if I find snails in spinach I buy at a grocery store, it's disgusting. So, <laughs> but wildlife slugs, fascinating. Home slugs, disgusting. What's funny is over here, the trail, goes through these woods and you can see quite a bit out and I've been scanning side to side looking for bears listening for anything but I haven't heard anything and then behind us is a line just like that we pass this stone wall and then, and then we just enter into like a big open area sunny sunny <laughs> Ooh, it's so bright over and over again we kind of go into woods and then we pop out in these huge open areas i don't know what this is all for it's all a variety of plants it's not just grass here's some cows in front earlier i heard some huffing sounds like puff, puff. so i looked real closely hoping it was a bear because they make that noise too but of course just a deer the deer was laying down 
and uh, he saw me staring at him and they just stood up and took off. Tears. It's funny, I was just laying there. Do you hear that noise? I thought it was cows or goats, but it's in the woods. I don't know if it's just past the woods. It's deep in the woods. It's so vocal. Nah, there appears to be a house past the woods. I was hoping there were a bunch of bears like, I don't know, having dinner and chatting or something. <laughs> I guess they wouldn't all, a whole bunch of them wouldn't be together chatting it up like that. Yeah. Oh well. There's one reason I'm very happy I have a filter is after a good rain, the streams are all very murky because it washes all the mud off everything everywhere and just mixes in with the water. So look, at, you can barely see through the water. Murky, and then after a while, it kind of settles down. But right after rain, every source, unless it's a spring, tends to be a little, little muddy. I read comments about people saying, oh yeah, you're gonna get a lot of ticks off the grass in New Jersey. And I thought, why would New Jersey have more grass than any other states? But well, we just keep going through these grass fields. <laughs> and some of the grass is high. Oh man, one of those days you gotta do a thorough check. Stay in a tent so you can look at yourself better. That is a snapping turtle. It is gigantic. I would say the shell is one foot wide right there. He was moving when I saw him, and he stopped moving as soon as he heard me. But that is a gigantic snapping turtle. Look at his tail. Oh my gosh. Oh, gosh, they look so crazy. Look at the ridges on his tail. What a monster. I gotta get in front of him somehow and take pictures of his face. But he's right on the trail. See that? There's the trail, and there he is. I can't get past him. He could bite my leg. Oh, he's so big. He's gigantic. He's covered in mud. He's been through it. Gosh, his tail is so big. He is. I don't think I could get around him. I guess I could jump over that first this rock. I'm gonna have to get past you somehow. Please don't bite my leg. I won't step on your tail. I'm just gonna get by ya, okay? Just gonna get by ya. Please don't bite my leg. There you go. Don't bite my leg. Don't bite my leg. <laughs> Alright, picture time. Like most of my animal encounters, he's just sitting there playing dead. He's not moving at all. But this road actually goes to the secret shelter. It's private land and there's a shelter. Um, the private land owner allows people to camp out. And there's supposedly a donkey there that is very popular with the hikers, but just didn't work out for me, so I didn't go. But, I mean, I saw a snapping turtle. That's a real snapping turtle right there. Covered in mud. And he's still laying where he was. He hasn't moved one bit since I jumped over. Um, just before I jumped over, he pulled his head in a little. But after I jumped over, he's still... I wonder if he's kind of stuck on that step. It looks like his body's there. I think he can get out though. He's got some beefy legs, he'll be all right. I wonder if I move way to the side, he'll start moving. I've done this a lot, by the way. I see an animal and they're scared and they stop moving and I walk off and then uh, pretty much just stand around for minutes hoping that they get back in motion and they usually don't and I usually waste like five, 10 minutes of my time. I have a lot of time today, so I'm gonna be quiet and stand right here, wait for him to move.
I'm just doing this road walk. A huge truck just drove by it, but look at this little dark thing here. You know what it is? You know what it is? It's a baby snapping turtle. Look at that guy. I'm actually gonna pick him up and move him because he is right on the road. There's some pictures. Okay, folks, don't do this at home. I saw this on Northwood's Law. I think I could grab him from the sides and he can't bite me. So I'll just... I mean, I'd be alive. He's alive, he's moving. Let's put him in the grass. Get away from that road, buddy. Get some moisture on you. I put him in the grass there in the shade. He's right near a body of water, so he's alive. So I'm hoping once he kind of decides it's safe, he'll walk ahead. It's really thick in there, but straight ahead is a body of water, so maybe. Do they swim? <laughs> so maybe he'll be okay. As long as he doesn't turn around and come back on the road. He looked like a rock. Truck could have easily ran him over. I'm just hiking along and uh, I see another hiker and I was just gonna tell him, did you see that snapping turtle? But it turned out to be Mayor Howard from Unionville, Mayor of Unionville. He contacted me yesterday and I guess he hiked in. Um, we hiked together and we just came out of the woods here. It's weird because I'm just in this cul-de-sac area. <laughs> So after I'm done today or tomorrow morning, I have to come back, find a spot, and make sure I get through there and go back to where I was. <laughs> make sure you know, the trash cans don't get moved, I guess. Follow the roosters, I guess. <laughs> so we're off to go to Annabelle's, is it? Annabelle's Pizza. All right, Annabelle's Pizza, and we're going to have lunch. Yeah, I promised uh, pizza and Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. Do they have Mountain Dew or is it Coke products? Oh, they better. They better. Uh -oh. If, not, if not, we'll, we'll uh -oh. protest. I'll, I'll write some uh, <laughs> statutory updates. Uh -oh. So we'll have some meetings. Some fines we'll for not sure having. sure that things are taken care of. A choice. Mountain Dew is a must. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially cold. I was sweating like crazy. But we are, we're in Unionville. It's nice. The houses are nice. Pretty nice. I had lunch with the mayor of Unionville, Howard. I uh, bought me a pizza at Annabelle's and we went to the grocery store, the general store, and just kind of looked around. But now, unfortunately, I had to say goodbye. Went back to his house, picked up my pack. Um, I had a bunch of things charging at an outlet right there. But now I'm going to head over to the general store. I'm just going to sit there, put on my earbuds and hope nobody talks to me and just work on videos and uh, use the power there. And I'll probably get something to drink as well there and uh, I'll have second lunch later there as well. So. Yeah, that's the plan. And then at four o'clock, I'll head over to the Presbyterian uh, church and hostel and then I'll uh, try to get a bed there. But we'll see what happens there. If not, uh, we walked around the park where they let hikers camp. Uh, basically, it's his say <laughs> since he's the mayor. And uh, he's hiker, super hiker friendly. So he allows that. There's a little porta potty. Oh, I'll continue after the dog here. So that's Annabelle's right behind me, that orange building. They have nice pizza there. I had a, pretty much everything. Um, but they do sell one with roti. No, I forget what kind of pasta it is. But it's kind of pasta, maybe penny on there. It's funny because in Germany they had spaghetti pasta and they sold that. But it was pretty good. I uh, highly recommend. Thank you again, Howard, for lunch. And here's the general store. I'm going to head up, take a seat, and get to work. I'm almost done with one, so I gotta hurry up here. I'm at the Sola Hostel in Unionville. It's a basically the pastor of the Presbyterian Church's house and in the basement. He has two bunk beds set up so you can take four hikers and there are showers and a little refrigerator. So I'm gonna actually shower and head over to the general store, get some stuff to drink for tonight and it's only 4.30, so I can still get a lot of work done. Um, okay, but pretty nice. I, I was really hoping I'd get a bed here just so I can get a shower because I still have two more nights before I get to the hotel and it's just been so long and you just sweat so much these days. But pretty nice. So it's gonna, it's been a good day here um, at Unionville. So I'm going to get going and uh, I will talk to you in a little bit. Look how much ham is in this sandwich from the Horlers general store here in Unionville. That is a beast. 
I think it was only like six dollars for the sandwich, which is insane considering how much ham is in there. Wow. Check out this old fridge they have. And uh, I didn't have a salad today. I just had this sandwich and it had some veggies in it. I had pizza that had some veggies in it. So I figure I would get this. Um, it's not as good as real vegetables because you don't have the fiber or anything, but. And it's a little saltier than usual, yeah. Almost a gram of salt. Um, but I am hiking tomorrow, so I think that'll be okay. I'm sitting in my bunk right now. It's past 11.30, so I don't want to talk too loudly. It's supposed to be quiet hours after 9.30, but I'm the only one here, so I'm up, <laughs> and I'm up. I'm going to be up for another couple hours, I think. Tomorrow I'm only doing like 17 miles, so I'm not too concerned. I'm just getting my food in order. This is my lunch bag. Basically tortillas, an Italian sausage, and a uh, pepperoni, and mayonnaise, all from Jane and Brian. It's going to be like five, six. 600 calories per lunch. That's gonna be pretty good. I'm really happy about that. I can't wait to dig in tomorrow But for for me, it's good night. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good night Or a good day and take care be safe and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye